Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new series on the channel. Today I am joined by Corbin and we are doing a tic-tac-toe. Now I'm sure you've all seen Luke Pingu do these with uh, YouTubers a lot more popular than what we are. But I want to do my own spin on things, making it EFL specific, trying to get as many of the 72 clubs involved and all that sort of stuff. There's a link in the description down below to the rules, which I would highly encourage you to go check out before we get into it to help give you an understanding for it. Make sure to drop a like on there for us. It's the first episode, so can we get 100 likes? That'd be massively appreciated. Subscribe and get your thoughts in down in the comment section down below. If we miss any players, then let us know down below. Any future guests as well that you want me to get on, get all that sort of stuff down in the comment section section down below but let's waste no further time and get straight into it so as Corbin is the guest on the channel I'm gonna let him pick his three categories first um, Irish Stoke and left foot and my three categories then I'm gonna go with someone over the age of 34 so that doesn't include 34 year olds I'm also gonna go with a striker and I'm also gonna go with Rotherham United so there are our six categories obviously we have to match them up basically just like knots and crosses but we have to get a player in that specific square or rectangle whatever it is to get that box I'm gonna let Corbin go first as he is the guest on the channel Corbin where would you like to start out with um, well I'll, I'll start off with Republic of Ireland and over at the age of 34 and it'll be no surprise as a Bradford City fan but I'm going to go with Colin Doyle. So my first guess then, I think I'm going to go Rotherham United Stoke City. I think he currently plays for Rotherham. I'm going to go with Sam Clucas. I'm pretty sure he signed on loan from Stoke or has recently been at Stoke if my, my memory serves me correct. So next up I'm going to go with former Rotherham United and current Luton winger Ogbeni who is currently of the Irish nationality. Yeah, that's a good guess. That could have had Georgie Kelly as well, recently joined Carlisle. So I'm obviously going to have to try and block you here and put a Republic of Ireland striker in there. Now, I mean, I just did briefly mention him there, but I'm going to go with Georgie Kelly. I'll, I'll go with Stoke striker, and I'll, I'll just go with... Uh... Dwight Gale, although he's a free agent now. I didn't. He, he didn't go to Derby. Pretty sure I went to Derby. Yeah. But I was. I was gonna say um, Dwight Gale Felton as well. But yeah, getting the middle one's a good one because it set you up now for two in really, really good areas. Actually, so that's that's a really good guess. Is that? See, now I'm in a little bit of a predicament because are you more likely to know a 34, uh, 35 year old technically? who's left-footed, or you're more likely to know a Rotherham United player who's left-footed. I could name you a Rotherham United left-footed player, and can I name you an EFL left-footed player over the age of 34? I mean, there's so many knocking about that it becomes almost too obvious. But I, I genuinely can't think of one off the top of my head. Do you know a Rotherham player who's left-footed? Would you know a Rotherham player who's left-footed? I don't think there's many in the team. I mean, I'm pretty sure Sam Clucas is left-footed. I can't. I genuinely can't think of a left-footed player over the age of 34. Maybe I went too high with 34. Mm. But even then, it's just like I, I don't know the championship that well. League One. This is very Derby, but quite based. an experienced team. Yeah. I mean, we did go for two championship teams to be fair. Why the hell can I not think of? <laughs> The left footer is 35 years of age. I, I genuinely can't think of one, so I'm, I'm going to have to go Rotherham left footed. I'm going to go Cohen Bramall. That's genuinely the only one I can think of. How can I not think of a left footer who's 35 or older? Like you said, there will be loads, but it's just about knowing. It just, bec it just becomes too obvious, doesn't it? Yeah. And to clarify as well, they have to still currently be playing when it's an age run like this because obviously you could just name a retired player who's might have played in the championship but we wanted to make it a little bit harder so we, we're going with players who are still currently playing but have played in the EFL and obviously uh, not were left footed probably still are left footed as well unless they're like an amputee or something I might just have to go with a wild sort of guess and go, go with I don't think he's 34 I'm, I'm going to go with Aidan Flint Aidan Flint let me have a let me have a look I think he might have got the age but I'm not sure if he's left footed Aidan Flint is currently 34, so he he does not quite make the uh, the age category. That's good. Is he? What was his preferred foot? Let me have a quick preferred foot. According to uh, Rooker Report, a Bristol City uh, article, he is right-footed, so you are wrong on both counts there. Oh, dear. Right, back over to me then. Stoke City over 34. See, I've got... I've got an idea in mind, but I don't know if he still plays. And we, obviously, we said that we want players who are still playing. But I don't think he still plays. I know he was playing last season, but I feel like he retired at the end of last season. 
The man I'm currently thinking of is Phil Jagielka, but I'm pretty sure he retired and obviously he played for Stoke. I could name you a left-footed striker, surely. Off the top of my head. Yeah, I can name you a left-footed striker. But is that really going to help me? Because I can't think of someone who's left-footed and over the age of 34. I mean, a striker and left-footed does kind of help me, but then if I, I come back to it and I still don't know a left-footer over the age of 34, it's pretty pointless. And I don't think I know a Stoke player over the age of 34 off the top of my head. Or a player who's played for Stoke, currently still playing. They don't currently have to be playing in the EFL, should we clarify. They just have to have played for Stoke when they were in the EFL. And they're over the age of 34. Um, it, it's very complicated, but hopefully once we're a few episodes in, you uh, understand it a little bit more at home. Obviously, if you're playing along, I'm sure some of you are probably screaming at the screen right now. Um, I genuinely can't think of these old men. Matt Derbyshire played for Stoke. He's played for many clubs. I don't think he's played for Stoke. I'm just going to have to go striker left-footed because I, I can't think of anyone. So I'm going to pass it back over to you. I'm going Johnson Clark Harris. Again, I, I don't know if he's still playing. He definitely was last season. But I'm just going to throw it out there and I'm going to go the, the Stoke over 34 and go with Shane Long. Shane Long. Let me have a quick Google. Shane Long. Shane Long has been without a club since 2023 oh, no. and has also never played for Stoke. Oh, I'm I got me. He, he is 37. He has played for Southampton, but Shane Long has never played for Stoke. I'm so there, back yeah. to me again. <laughs> why? Uh, why can I think of these old men? I mean, maybe it was just before our time. It's we, I mean, we could name some Stoke players, but a lot of them probably played when Stoke were in the Prem. Maybe, maybe, did he maybe stay for one season? Is he still playing? Right, I'm going to go Stoke. Over the age of 34, I'm going to go Ryan Shawcross. He's in America, I think. Ryan Shawcross, he's 36 years of age. He played with Stoke until 2021. When did Stoke get relegated? I feel like it was well before that. Oh, yeah. yeah. When did Stoke get relegated? They got relegated in the 17-18 season because of decline under Mark Hughes. So that is one that I will take. Ryan Shawcross for Stoke over the age of 34. I'll absolutely take that one. Left footed over 34. Is he over 34? I'm just going to have to go with it. I don't think... I, I think he's either 34 or 33, but I'm going to go with James McLean. How old is James McLean? That is the real question. James McLean age. Is he 35 or older? VAR says oh, he's 34. Birthday. His birthday is a month today at the time of recording. His birthday is the 22nd of April. I'm feeling. You, uh, you, that, that's uh, not a bad guess, to be fair. Oh, I've got one. I've got one. I've got one. Left-footed, over the age of 34, still playing Wickham Wanderers left back Joe Jacobson. Thank you very much. He's literally about 37, 38. If this is not if this is not accurate, then I'm ending the video here. Yeah, Joe Jacobson is 37 years of age. That is one nil to me after the first round. Three in a row there with Cohen Bramall, Johnson, Clark Harris, and Joe Jacobson. Let's move on to round number two. Why didn't I go Dean Lewington? Yeah, what? Dean Lewington. <laughs> it always comes after you've done it. So my turn to pick my three categories at first then. I have gone with PTB United, a player under the age of 23, so 22 or younger, and also Cheltenham Town. My three categories are going to be a Scotsman, a Golden Boot winner, and a Central Midfielder. See, I feel like this one is maybe a little bit easier than the last one. In fact, I would say it's a lot easier. I think I could probably name you one for pretty much every single one of these positions if i'm honest with you i'm gonna start out though with a current bantam i'm gonna go scottish peterborough united i'm gonna go jamie walker it doesn't just have to be a golden boot in the efl that could have got it in like the under 18s world cup group stage as long as if i go on wikipedia and it says they have won a form of a golden boot and they're currently under the age of 23 then it will count i'm gonna go with a golden boot winner from peterborough united and johnson clark harris yeah that was that was pr pretty obvious i mean they've had a few over the years to be fair i think ivan tony won it the year before him but peterborough always seemed to have a one or two players competing for it but yeah it's a, a decent pick next then i'm gonna go with scottish under the age of 23 i think he is still under the age of 23 played for bradford city last season i'm going with scott banks let me just double check see if he is scott banks age he is 22 so closer than what i thought born on the 26th of september 2001 scott banks just about gets me away with that one i'm gonna go peter percent mid and go with uh, archie collins see off the top of my head i genuinely can't think of any scottish cheltenham players like if my ms is watching this video it's probably screaming at about a thousand of them that i've played from over the years but i can't think of any like the players that come into my mind aiden keener i think's from the republic of ireland they're the right back called long i think he was irish 
Liam Serkham, was he? Is he Scottish? I don't really know. I'm going to take a punt though on something a little bit different. I'm going to go under 23 years of age, golden boot winner. I'm going to go Eddie Nketiah. I feel like he might have won one for maybe England's academy setup. Eddie Nketiah. Golden Boot. I don't think he won one with his loan spell with Leeds, and obviously he's not one with Arsenal. It says here, Eddie Nketiah was belatedly recognised for his achievement in becoming England under-21's record goal scorer and was presented with a Golden Boot, but that's not that's not the Golden Boot. He's not scored the most amount of goals, so I'm not going to count that. He's just got that for being the under-21's top goal scorer. Um, let me look on his Wikipedia. Is there anything mentioning a Golden Boot? Surely he must have scored a decent amount of goals for England. I mean, he scored 16 in 17 for England's under-21s. He only scored three at Leeds United. I think this one's a flop. I don't think Eddie Nketiah does have a golden boot. He's been presented with one. Yeah, but it's not like an actual golden boot. He's got that because he's become England's under-21s top goal scorer. He's not got it because he's finished top goal scorer in a tournament or anything like that. Or at least it doesn't specifically state that. So I'm, I'm not going to allow myself to have that one. We've not got the, the ultimate con confirmation, so I guess it gets passed back over to you now. I think we can count holding midfielders and attacking midfielders in as well. Like it's it's not, not the end of the world. Okay, right, okay. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll just go with Joe Bellingham. Joe Bellingham. I'm going to assume that. I mean, to be fair, he has played striker for a few games. Like I know I said we'll count holding and attacking midfielders, but Joe Bellingham, obviously... He, he fits the age category. He's obviously 18. What did they have him down as? Job Samuel Patrick Bellingham is an English professional footballer who plays as a midfielder or forward for EFL Championship Club Sunderland. Oh dear. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you decide if you're happy to accept that yourself, and then it is, the comment section will then go after you and not me. I will let you, I will let you decide if you're if you want to accept that one. Okay, I'm a man with integrity. And I therefore decide with the difficult decision to terminate Joe Bellingham from my selection. Right, so I'll be I'll be comfortably taking back the uh, the guess, and we want to get some points on the board here because I know a lot of this will be edited down, but we have been here for quite a while already, and we already are on game number two. I'm going to go Golden Boot winner for Cheltenham Town. I'm going to go Alfie May. Yeah, well done. He must have won a Golden oh, no. Boot. Sure. No, I'm sure he am. I'm sure we're looking earlier. He must have won a golden boot. Because I was thinking that earlier. I was just having a look. Wait, hold on. Has he not won a golden boot? Please tell me Alfie Mears won a golden boot. I swear he won it last year. Did he not win it last year? Oh my god. Alfie Mears not won a golden boot. How has Alfie Mears not won a golden boot? Johnson Clark Harris won it last season for 27. I thought Alfie Mears won it last season. I know he's scored an unbelievable amount of goals this season. How on earth is that not accurate? Well, I guess I won't be getting some easy points on the board then. Right, well, I'll, I'll get me act together and now I'm going to go with Dan Neal for the under-23 years of age midfielder. Right, central midfielder for Cheltenham Town. I'm going to go with Twitch streamer Tom Pett. I mean, he's, he's currently there. I could have literally picked so many ones. I don't know why I picked a current player, but Tom Pett, I'm pretty sure he's still at Cheltenham. He was there up until January. Yes, he plays as a midfielder for English League One side at Cheltenham Town. Lovely stuff, so easy... Uh, Easy point on the board there. This this is left field, but I'll, I'll go with it. My golden boot winner who's under 23 years old. It's a stab in the dark. I don't think it's right, but it's it could be a shout. I'm going to go with Jordan Rhodes. <coughs> well, I did tell you the big mistakes in episode one. As you can see here, we have selected a player who is clearly not under the age of 23 but at the time when he won the golden boot he was under the age of 23 we were on this section for nearly half an hour so please bear with us it's episode one there was always going to be mistakes and i can only apologize i don't think there's been a golden boot winner for cheltenham and i can't think of a scottish cheltenham player off the top of my head and we, we've we've been on this section now for what like 20 minutes and we can't think of anyone i think we might just have to might just have to pass it up because i can't think of any cheltenham either scottish players or golden boot winners i you want to toss a coin I think we just call it a draw. Right, game number three then. It feels like we've been here for absolutely forever. What three categories are you going for this time? Please, no more Cheltenham Town Golden Boot winners. So I'm going to go with Mansfield Town 
a Welsh player and a winger. So I'm going to go with a red home kit. So, I don't know, Rotherham, a player who's played for Rotherham, for example. Exeter City and Leicester City as well. I'll get started with a Welsh Exeter player um, who is called... Uh, I don't know, Simon Samerson, I, I, I can't think of one. Welsh Leicester, I'll go with Danny Ward. That's who I was thinking of for that one, to be fair. Good start, good start. I think I'm going to go with... going to go Exeter winger. I'm going to go Joel Randall, obviously now at Peterborough. I think he plays more of a number 10 there now, but he certainly was a winger when he got his seven-figure move to the posh. Mansfield Leicester, I'm going to go with their loan this season. Blunt, Lewis Blunt, I think it is. Yeah, Lewis Blunt. I was hoping that you, you wouldn't... You won't remember. I don't actually know if he has played for Leicester. Let me just double check. I mean, it does definitely count. Uh, but has he actually played any games for Leicester? Let me just double check. He, he's made two senior appearances for Leicester uh, in, since he's been there in 2021. Started his career at Aston Villa. But yeah, very, very good centre half. And uh, that's a, a decent pick from yourself, though. So obviously, I'm now going to need to name a winger who has played for Leicester. Could be past, could be present. I'm going to go present. I'm going to go Steffi Mavadidi. Mansfield Town and Red Home Kit. I'm going to go with Will Swan, who was at Nottingham Forest. Obviously, Nottingham Forest are currently in the Premier League. But Will Swan joined Nottingham Forest in 2014 for his youth career. Became a pro in 2020 so he's been there while they have been in the championship to win the game then uh, win this round sorry for me i'm going to go winger red home kit i'm going to go with sean mcconville of accrington stanley obviously that's three in a row on the right hand side there was many other options you could go for in terms of exeter and welsh you could have gone ethan ampadu i think he, i'm pretty sure he came through their academy um mansfield exeter i think is hiram boateng i'm pretty sure he played for Exeter and now obviously he is at Mansfield here on Boateng let me just double check 28 years of age he was with Exeter from 2017 to 2019 in terms of Welsh red home kit uh, Johnny Williams played for Charlton Welsh there you go that would uh, complete that one and 2-0 uh, to me, let's move on to round number 4. On to round number 4 then, my three categories here, I'm going three nationality based ones, I'm going with an English player, a non-European and I'm also going Northern Irish. So I'm going to go, with, you've got to wear a blue home shirt, a goalkeeper and a championship relegation. And it is my turn to go first, so I'm going to go blue home shirt English, I'm going to go with Scott Hogan. He's not Irish is he? I just wanted to double check. Oh, he's, Repub he's from Republic of Ireland. Oh, dearie me. Oh, what an absolute howler. Scott Andrew Hogan has represented Republic of Ireland 12 times. Never scored a goal, though. So is it really relevant? Well, that's that's a horrible start, isn't it? That is a horror start. Goalkeeper from out of Europe. There's... Um... You can do past and present, and I'm sure you were with them in the championship. Right, so you can check it anyway. So I'm going to go, oh, I'm going to get the Zim as well. Uh, and I'm more confident in it. Yeah, so I'm going to go with, oh, well, I'll just, I'll just go Begovic. He's flipping Bosnian. Oh, my God. Asmir Begovic. You don't need to check. He's Bosnian. He's Bosnian. He is. Bo he was actually with Canada's under twenty from oh. two thousand and four to two thousand and seven. No, but man. in two thousand nine to two thousand twenty, he did become officially with Bosnia and Herzegovina, who are European. I've had a howl of that. I was literally going to say. I'm not going to say. I'm going to say. But you, you'll get it straight. Yeah, on. go on. Tell me. And then I'll use it. <laughs> Well, this has been a horrible start to round number four. <laughs> Championship relegation, English. Surely you just name any Rotherham United player. Who has played for Rotherham and been relegated? Um, Richard Wood. He's, he has been there long enough that surely he has been relegated with Rotherham. Richard Wood, obviously now at Doncaster Rovers. He was re with Rotherham from 2014 to 2023. I'm not even gonna check if Rotherham got relegated in that time because if he hasn't, that is an absolute crime. Richard Wood is my championship relegation. I mean, is he English? Let me just double check that as well. Richard Wood, where were you born? Uh, he's a Leeds United fan, so he must be born in England. Yes, born in Osset, lovely stuff. Richard Wood, championship English relegation. 
thing. Yeah, right, so this time I'm not going to mess it up and I'm going to go with add two people, two goalkeepers in my head who are going to go if and 100% are not from Europe and I decided to go with Begovic for some reason um, because it's current. I'm going to go with Adam Federici, who is Australian, and I'm pretty sure he played with Stoke in the Championship. Federici, he is Australian, no longer plays. He played for... Uh, he had a loan spell with Bristol City in 2006, didn't play. Uh, Bournemouth, Nottingham Forest, Stoke, yes, uh, Adam Federici, he's had many clubs which are probably in the Championship. I mean, definitely Stoke, they got relegated by that time. Just the eight appearances for Stoke, retired in 2021, Adam Federici is in, that is a, a good suggestion that I would have probably never got that one. I mean, the easiest one on this list has got to be English goalkeeper. I'm going with uh, Carlisle United legend Harry Lewis. Um, shirt from England. Well, uh, I, I'm going to counteract yours, um, Birmingham, I, I, supposedly English player, with uh, John Woody. Oh dear. See, this is now where it gets hard. Northern Irish goalkeepers. Goodness me. Northern Irish blue home shirts. Northern Irish championship relegations. Ooh! Oh, but this is the problem now. I'm going to get Republic of Ireland mixed up with Northern Ireland and it's going to be really embarrassing. I think I've got one here. I'm going to go Shane Ferguson of Rotherham United. I don't know if that is accurate. It's a little bit of a punt. But it just came to my mind. Shane Ferguson, he is Northern Irish. Oh, then again. Has he been relegated? He has been with Rotherham since 2021. When were Rotherham last relegated? Um, list of Rotherham United seasons. 2021. They were relegated. Right. So they were relegated in the 20 slash 21 season and he joined them in 2021. But I don't know when. That's the problem. It says here he joined them on July 21st. So he joined them like the summer after they got relegated. So he, he hasn't had, but he hasn't been relegated with Rotherham. I thought that was a really, really good stab in the dark, but no, unfortunately, he hasn't been relegated from the championship. At least not what I can see from here. I'm going to have a stab in the dark, and I think I think he's Republic of Irish, but I'm going to go with McGuinness, the, the striker. Ooh. What's his first name? Josh. Josh, Josh McGuinness. Yeah. I know you're on about, so. Just what we're going to say. Josh. Josh. <laughs> Didn't have a bloody clue. There we go, yeah. He is Northern Irish. I feel like he has got a relegation from the Championship on his CV. Charlton were relegated. When were they relegated? After that, way after 2018. Yeah. Uh, Bolton, did they get relegated in the 18-19 season? I don't feel like they did. Hull? Oh, when did Hull get relegated? Hull did get relegated, didn't they, down to League One? Yeah. Around COVID, so Josh McGuinness has got a championship relegation on his CV. That is a really, really good shout. Is that? And obviously he is Northern Irish. He has represented them at under 17, under 19, under 21, and senior level. He's got 11 in 76 at senior level. So that is a excellent shout. And that is your first point on the board. So round number four goes to Corbin. Do you know any of the the other ones? Do you know any non-European blue home shirts or championship relegations or Northern Irish blue home shirts and goalkeepers? Uh, well, Northern Irish goalkeeper, you've got that, uh, that, that lad who at Leeds, his name's escaped me, that Bailey Peacock Fowl. Um, championship yes. relegation, non-European. That's a bit tougher. So round number four goes to Corbin. Uh, if you know any of the other ones, let us know down in the comment section down below. So the scores on the doors are 2-1 to me, heading into the final round of today's video. Let's get into round number five. So my three categories then for the final round of today's video are a right-footed player, a player who has played for Bradford City, and a bold man. My three, you've got to have played an international game for your country. Uh, you've got to have captained your club. And lastly, you have had to have been relegated from League One. Just to confirm, is an international cap for the senior team or just for any of the, including like the younger teams? We'll go senior. So my um, first pick is going to be a captain who played or has played for Bradford City, and it's going to be Josh Wright. <laughs> you know, I'm so glad they're going with Josh Wright because I was going to go with him as well. A real Bradford City captain, a man who got what it meant 
to bleed for the badge. First up for me then, I want to get some of the easier ones out of the way. I'm going to go relegated from League One. I'm going to go Adam Chickson, obviously part of our 18-19 squad. Absolutely terrible that season, as were many of the players, but Adam Chickson has definitely got a relegation on his CV and has also obviously played for Bradford City. I'm going to go with uh, Baldy from relegated from League One, uh, Hope Hackpan. Now, that might need analysing. Um, we might need to get Ooh. the eyeing glass out. Hope Hackpan. Let me have a quick Google of him. Is he a bold man? At Bradford City, he was not a bold man. He's got He's got some hair on his head there. I don't know if I can show the camera. There you go. You can see he has he has some hair on his head. Is there a picture on the internet of Hopakpan with bald hair? Another picture of him at Bradford City, clearly with hair on his head. I am struggling to locate a picture here of Hopakpan with a bald head. What if I, I mean, is he even bald now? now? What if I said that I've cut his hair once? and deliberately made him bold because of his performances. I'm going to say that, despite that sounding like a terrific idea, I'm not going to give you the point for this. That he is, he is not a bold man. However, a man who was bold enough when he played for Bradford City, he made a handful of appearances. He was an Aiden Rahich special. He's now gone on to make quite the career for himself, I'm honest with you. Relegated from League One, Baldy. I'm going Thomas Isherwood. Oh, yeah, baby. Absolute man mountain, signed in Estonia, played about four games. Because I remember once he came on as a substitute when we got battered 4-0 away at Gillingham, he came on at right back and he was left footing at about six foot five. So you can imagine that didn't end particularly well. But Thomas Isherwood is a bold man who has a League One relegation on his CV. Well, this this must be the easiest one that there will ever be. Looking at it now, I should have probably saved Thomas Isherwood until I'd done that relegated from League One and right footed, but yeah. hey ho. Right, so relegated from League One, right footed. I think it'd be safe to say if, if I managed to mess this up, this would be stupid. This would be flipping iconic. I'm going to go with Paddy O'Connor. Paddy O'Connor signed in the January and loan from Leeds United. You could have had many other players there, but Paddy O'Connor does indeed have a League One relegation on his CV. Obviously back in there now with Lincoln City, and he's obviously right footed. So I now need a senior international cap who's a baldy, a man who has already been brought up on today's episode, a bold man who has a senior international cap, I'm pretty sure, I'm 99.9% I'm .9 sure, involved in a major transfer saga with Bradford City not that too long ago, I'm going Johnny Williams. Oh yes, that's a good one. And we do not need VAR to confirm that he is a bald man, he is very, very bold. He, he used to have very fine hair, quite spiky. Now ones. it's the upside down. Looks a bit like a garden gnome. Gillingham fans might say it's more use being a garden gnome. <laughs> they, they may indeed, although they will still be commenting on my video telling me I'm salty. From picking a certain captain from Bath City who will forever be running our hearts to another one who was a bit of a mercenary, to be honest with you, never really put any effort in and was, was a bold man. Gary Jones. Yes, a man who uh, epitomises a lack of effort. Yes. Gary Jones in. So I now need a right-footed captain. Sticking with excellent Bradford City captains then, I'll stick in Richie Smallwood. Bradford City senior international cap, I'm going to go with James Meredith. James Meredith played for... Australia. Good eye, mate. How the bloody hell are you? <laughs> that's not too bad. I mean, I've typed in James Meredith and apparently he's an American civil rights activist. I don't think that's quite, quite the right one I'm looking for. James Meredith, a soccer player. He made only the two senior appearances, but he was also an assistant coach. But yes, James Meredith has had an international career, which means I can now no longer win. So we'll stick James Meredith in there. And to wrap up today's video, a right-footed senior international cap. I think this is right. It's the only international that I can think of off the top of my head who's made an actual senior appearance. I'm going with a man who didn't really have a great time at Bradford City. In fact, spent most of it injured. I'm going Aboisa. Aboisa has made a senior appearance. He's made two for Sudan. Um, both in the 2023 calendar year, apparently. But there we have it. That concludes the first episode of EFL Tic Tac Toes. I've nearly just thrown my drink all over. I think I win 2-1 and we got two draws in there. Is that correct? So not a bad way to start. We have been recording for 
uh, a very long time, nearly two and a half hours. So thank you all for watching. It's going to take a long time to edit. So make sure to drop a like on there for us. If we could try and hit 100 likes on episode one, that'd be massively appreciated. Subscribe to the channel as well if you are new. Get your thoughts in down in the comment section down below. Who do you want to see me get on this series as well? If you want to come on the series as well, let me know down below. As long as you're a content creator and you've got half decent ball knowledge, you're more than welcome to come on. Your subscriber account is completely irrelevant. The more people that come on, the better. Thank you all for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Go check out Corbin's channel as well. Link as always is down in the description down below and we'll see you all very soon for another video. Peace.